Hello everybody. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to take an InfoWorks model out of InfoWorks and import it into Civil 3D to use uh, to design off. Now, um, I primarily use InfoWorks to get an idea of the terrain of the land before going out there, before I put feet on the ground to survey it. I just want to do like a, a bidding kind of a process. So uh, in InfoWorks, we can use a model builder to go out there and uh, find the free GIS data from the pool that it, it pulls from. And I'll show you, you know, everybody asks, where does it come from? And if you look right here, uh, GIS data used in InfoWorks comes from primarily OpenStreetMaps. And um, it goes out there, gets this data, imports it into uh, 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 InfoWorks, and then it builds this model. So let's go ahead and begin here. Let me go back to InfoWorks over here. I'm going to go to the model builder, and I'm in the Austin, Texas area. So I'm going to find a hilly area. And as you can see, as I start zooming in, the area right now is, is too large for me to bring in anything. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in until it disappears. I can only do 200 square kilometers. Let's focus on this area right here, this hilly area. Let's just say I want to design in this area for whatever reason. Okay. Um, I could choose now, now that warning has gone away because I could choose the entire area here to to uh, import or I could choose to put a square or a box around it if I choose to do something like this okay and I'm gonna call this this is in the northwest Austin area this is near a an area called Valente Beach so let me go ahead and call this one Valente Beach and I'm gonna give that uh, give it a coordinate zone the coordinate zone in this area happens to be Texas 83 dash central foot okay um, I could have also just searched for it over here manually but I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay my coordinate zone now has that TX83 uh, CF assigned to it I'm gonna go ahead and create the model now at this point I'm gonna pause the video while it creates the model It's gonna take a few minutes for it to generate the model and then I'll get an email that that says the model is ready so I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue and okay and I'm gonna pause the video Okay, so I paused the video and now I'm back. And as you can see here in my screen, I have the Valenta Beach uh, model here. I'm going to now go ahead and click on that Valenta Beach model and I'm going to have it create a local model or wherever I want to store it on Autodesk Docs or locally. I'm going to click local. It's going to go ahead and build the model. Then it's going to open the model. Again, this will also take a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and stop um, and let it do its thing. Um, and then I'll unpause it again. And here is my model. Okay, so let me give you a realistic time frame. Uh, this is three square kilometers from the time I told the software to generate the model and it went out there and the time I got the email that it came back was approximately five minutes. And then the time that I opened up the model and had it rebuild was approximately a minute and a half to two minutes. Okay, but here we go. Here's my model. I, uh, this is that area. I picked it because it's got some terrain to it, as you can see. Um, I can, as I zoom in, I'll see more and more contours here. There's some roads. Again, all these are coming from that open streets. Those are the buildings. Uh, not exactly matching the buildings that are out there, but it's just more giving it a, a footprint of where a building is. Regardless, this is what I need to take minus the buildings into Civil, Civil 3D. So I'm going to use this area. I'm going to bring this here and let's turn this around. I can hit, oh, I can hit home. I'll get always get to where I need home. Okay, so this is what I need to take out of Civil 3D. What I'm going to do is head over here to the Present and Share tab and I'm going to export an IMX file. Export. I'm going to go ahead. Now it says the, the, I can export recent, uh, I'll start with a recent export or I can uh, do with the extents or I can do the entire model, or if I uncheck this, I can do a bounding box. Let's just say I want to go from here to say here. Let's let's get rid of the let's get well maybe bring in just that much area right there. Just just for argument's sake. Double click there. So there's my bounding box. It sees the coordinate zone here that I'm using, and this is where it's gonna store it. I have stored it before on the top of my uh, desktop. I'll go ahead and call this one 
you, know, you can give it whatever you want, but I'm going to go ahead and call this one Valente Beach for our work here. Let's see. Uh, Valente Beach. Okay, and I'm going to hit export. So now it's going to export it. And now let's head over to Civil 3D. All right. So here in Civil 3D, this is a brand new drawing. I'm going to go ahead and set my coordinate zone. Okay, again, uh, TX83-CF. Now, you don't have to have the same coordinate zone as the, the model, because sometimes you don't know the coordinate zone of the model. I have found that if you have a different coordinate zone, when it imports it into Civil 3D, it will transform from one coordinate zone to whatever coordinate zone we have right here. Okay, assuming they're in the same area. You know, obviously I can't bring in uh, Alaska into Texas or Texas into Alaska. Okay, so I'm going to hit apply and hit OK, and then I'm going to head over here to the Insert tab, and I'm going to open an InfraWorks model. And when I do so, this box will appear. I'm going to navigate to the InfraWorks model that I have on my desktop, which is the Valente Beach model right here. Okay. As you can see, it really recognizes the coordinate zones that I'm using. Okay. Um, now, when I brought in the model, let me go ahead right here, down here and refine selection set. Okay. It recognized the surfaces. I have an existing ground surface, a transportation surface, basically all the the roadway surfaces if I need to. I have roads in here. There's Lime Creek Road and then some sub, uh, other smaller roads that probably is another name. Let's just go ahead and do Lime Creek Road only. And I don't need the transportation surfaces. Uh, and if, if there were any water areas that I brought, I'm bringing in, it will bring those in as well, as you can see. Um, now, I avoided the water area in my bounding box because I didn't think it was needed for this conversation. But you can see that you have these options in here. Once you turn on or off the options that you want to bring in, I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and open the model. And it's going to generate the model. There is the Lime Creek Road. This is the section that I brought in. OK. And if I want to verify this, I can come over here to the Geolocation tab and turn on the aerial maps. OK. And let it do its thing. Come on. And there you go. There's the map. It just popped in. And so now I can see that the terrain follows that right there. If I wanted to do a 3D orbit or an object viewer of it, it is an actual surface, as you can see right here, with terrain on it. So now I can start designing off of this. So that quickly I can get an idea of what's going out there. Oh, this right here, this Lime Creek, this is the center line alignment of the Lime Creek Road. Okay. So just to get an idea of what's going on out there, um, and I hope this—I uh, hope you find this helpful as well. All right, thank you.